Got see everything this. right here. That's good. So this is Officer Wesley Cheeks Jr. Uh, yes, sir. And he's saying that my thing here is no what are you good. saying it is? Well, I'm saying it can't be up on school board property. Why not? Because I just told you it couldn't. Why be. Can, it, can it not be? Sir, it can't be up. That's Why can it not be? It just can't be up. Did you take a note to follow the Constitution? Yes, I did. You did? Yes. Where is it in the Constitution? And on my this, is freedom. Job. this is freedom. My job said it can't be here, so I'm doing my job. Where does it say that in your job? Actually, school grounds have very different First Amendment rights than anywhere else. Anywhere, churches, parks, and everything. But what, where, where, what's the difference between that and something here? It's and provided. something there, no and those over there, because you, and those over there. But you got this with a picture. That's the and difference. This has got a picture on it. What does it that mean? That don't have a picture on it. It doesn't have anybody. So what? It doesn't have anybody. Sir, leave the picture down. If you don't, if you put the picture back up, you will be charged with trespassing and then you will have to go. Okay? Well, wait a second. I'm charged with trespassing? I said you will be. But that's not trespassing, Evan. If I told you once to take it down and you put it back up, yeah. then I can charge you whatever I want to charge you with. Okay? So I'm telling so you. So you make the law too? Put the picture down, sir. Thank you. It, this is America. This used to be America. It ain't no more, okay? Yeah. I know it ain't. That's the part, point of the picture. The U.S. Fascism. No, the U.S. Supreme Court. Wesley Cheeks. The U.S. Supreme Court. Wesley Cheeks. Has. Fascist. Has. And include therein extraneous material. Ms. Wolsey of California, Ms. Captor of Ohio, and myself, Mr. Grayson from Florida. Under the Speaker's announced policy of January 6, 2009, and under a previous order of the House, the following members are recognized for five minutes each. Mr. Jones of North Carolina. Without objection, so ordered. The gentleman from Texas is recognized for five minutes. Mr. Speaker, a few days ago, there was a town hall meeting not too far from here in Reston, Virginia. Over 3,000 people were inside, and about that many outside, who could not get into the school. Now, this town hall event was held at South Lakes High School, and one of the security officers there, a Wesley Cheeks Jr., did not like one of the signs that the protesters were carrying and holding up. The sign apparently was not to the officer's political liking. So the security officer demanded that out of the thousands of signs at the event, the one he didn't like was going to come down and he ordered the person to take it down because it was obviously critical of the administration. Note, Mr. Speaker, there was nothing illegal about the sign. This officer told the man with the sign to put his sign away or he would be arrested. Yes, arrested for freedom of speech and the right to protest. The protester said, this used to be America. Officer Weeks said in response, well, it isn't anymore, okay? Well, Mr. Speaker, it's not okay. Not by a long shot. This is still America, the land of the free, the land where we can disagree with government whether government likes it or not. The land paid for in blood by bold men of noble character and heart, and noble action who understood that free speech undergirds liberty and freedom. They understood that the right to speak the truth to authoritarian power is granted by the Almighty to those bold enough to stand and claim that right. No king, no government, no dictator, and no high school security officer has the right to abuse their authority and suppress freedom of speech. One of the founding principles of this nation is, is freedom of speech. It is so fundamentally important that our founding fathers put it first in our Constitution Bill of Rights, made it the First Amendment to the Bill of Rights because it is the most important. Without the First Amendment, the rest are meaningless. The First Amendment simply says, Congress, that's us folks, shall make no law respecting the establishment of religion, prohibiting the free exercise thereof, or abridging the freedom of speech, or of the press, or of the right to peace, people peaceably assemble, and to petition the government for redress of grievances. It is the tendency of all governments to encroach upon the rights of people in this nation and other nations. And while many governments are going about, their, or while many Americans are going about their daily business of work, taking the kids to school, to football practice, to the Boy Scouts, grocery shopping and going to dinner, mowing the grass and living their lives, don't underestimate that these people are paying attention to what government is doing to them. Freedom of speech is crucial.
for folks to get the attention of fellow Americans when the size of government no longer fits the Constitution. Freedom of speech is sacrosanct, and not just for those who agree with government, but it is a holy right, especially for those who disagree with government oppression. It is the right of a free people to speak truth when the government is wrong. It is the right of the people to gather and stand in the face of their elected officials and speak what they see. Tyranny of a government gone amuck. It is the right of a self-governing people to come together in cities around the nation to speak out and to hold the government accountable when those who seek to rule over us have stepped out of their constitutional bounds. There could be no more fundamental display of our God-given right to freedom of speech than what we're seeing it from the American resistance movement today. From town halls to city streets, the right of free speech is one of the very guardians of the freedom and liberty that makes this nation the greatest in history. And it is the government that would do well to listen, be silent, and then act in the interest of the American people. And that's just the way it is.